If you say, which a lot of guys do, they say to me in, in classes, my passion right now is getting good with women. That's not exactly it. Because if you're looking for your passion in another person, if you're looking for your sense of purpose in getting validation from another person, then you're missing the boat here. And what I want to invite you into is go figure out what would create a powerful life for you. And this can radically shift everything. So in this video, I want to talk about one thing that could radically shift your results with women. And it's something that a lot of guys don't think about. And I want to see if this is you. Are you the type of guy that's obsessing over women, trying to figure out, watching tons and tons of video, trying to figure out the techniques to get women, trying to figure out what to say, what to do, how to get the women, and uh, nothing's quite working? You're pushing, 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 but the more you push, the more burned out you're getting. Well, then this video is for you. In this video, I want to talk about something so simple. Sometimes it's elusive. You see, women don't want a guy who's constantly needy and chasing them. Women don't want a guy who don't have a life beyond them, who need them to feel good about themselves. So I want to invite you into and give you permission to create a life. What I mean by this is that one of the most important things that guys that are good with women are good at is having a life outside of women. They have stuff they love to do. They build a powerful sense of self-expression. They go out and learn to play music if they love music. They go out and learn to race cars if they want to race cars or get a motorcycle or they, be, they get into a band or they, they do stuff they love. It doesn't even have to be exciting stuff. It's simple stuff, but stuff that's passionate for you. Something that means something to you. See, women love to see a guy with purpose. Do you have purpose? Do you have a sense of drive, something that drives you that's almost greater than yourself? Do you have passions? And if your passion, and if you say, which a lot of guys do, they say to me in, in classes, my passion right now is getting good with women. That's not exactly it. Because if you're looking for your passion in another person, if you're looking for your sense of purpose in getting validation from another person, then you're missing the boat here. And what I want to invite you into is go figure out what would create a powerful life for you. And this can radically shift everything. Matter of fact, guys shift overnight as they do this. As they go out and start figuring out things they love and start getting grounded in those things, bonding with other men. I'll give you an example. There's one thing that I want to do that I haven't done yet is I want to go take some survival camps in the woods. Be a blast. There's a Tom Brown survival camp. and I want to go check it out. Maybe go take his camp, spend a weekend or a week there learning to survive off the land powerful. I also love backcountry snowboarding, so it kind of makes sense. It goes together with it. skiing too. One of my passions is I, I, I haven't explored it yet. Another one I want to explore is surfing. I'm thinking about moving to Bali for a while and learning to surf. These are things I'm considering and exploring. And these are really important to me and they are outside of needing a woman. But as you start to develop these sides of yourself, you become more interesting to a woman. Maybe you learn to play music and you play her a little song. It doesn't have to be much. A little something with feeling mixed in can be huge. Maybe you go out and become a good photographer and you show women your photography and they're fascinated by your art, your depth of feeling. Not only will this develop a greater sense of feeling for you, but it becomes a, a point of interest for them. There are so many things you can do. It is absolutely ridiculous. And uh, it can, you could learn it. You could become a yoga master. Matter of fact, years ago when I lived in a, a yoga community, there was one guy who came who his whole life was dedicated to yoga and all the girls wanted him. He was super grounded. He was super masculine. He could stand on his hands and do all these moves. He loved his life and all the girls wanted to be with him. And they all thought he was sexy. Girls wanted, one girl wanted to photograph him because she was a photographer because she, she loved the fact that he could get into all these crazy poses. And it was, it was amazing for her. I've seen this time and time again. I have another friend who lived in a van for a while. He's like, I'm gonna live in a van. I'm gonna do what I want and travel around the world. And again, women were drawn to him. Actually, I've had two friends like that. They, one of them was a photographer, lived in a van, traveling around photographing. And the other one lived in a van and spent a lot of time skateboarding, learning to snowboard and kept inviting women into that life. So what kind of life do you wanna create? What do you, what's a real passion for you? I would recommend that you develop two or three passions. If you don't know what your passion is, go out and explore, go out and try different things. Make a list of 10 things that you're gonna try and try them. Maybe you wanna go learn to hang glide. I know another guy who got radically into hang gliding and he was doing it almost every weekend. People were fascinated by it because how many people do you know that hang glide? 
I know other guys that get into skydiving and how much fun and how, how much they, their confidence grows and their self-esteem grows by skydiving because it causes so many releases and so many shifts in your subconscious mind. I've seen so many different versions of this, it's ridiculous. But the one thing I know is that if I name any of the naturals, any of the guys that I know that were good with women, they didn't need women to make them happy. They had a life without the women and they invited women into that life. And do you have a life currently? Maybe this video doesn't apply to you. Maybe you're just working, you're, you're a really confident guy and you're just learning a few techniques and it's already working for you. But if you're struggling in this area and you're not happy with your life and you need women to make you happy and you haven't learned to be happy for you, that could be the biggest shift and the biggest key in this whole video. The whole point of having a purpose beyond women is that you are happy without them, that you love your life, you like who you are, you, even if you're just content with your life and you have a good life and you wake up in the morning and you say, I got a good life. And then you're inviting women into that life. You're going to do a thousand times better. That's huge. Now you put that together with all the other stuff we talk about on this channel and your whole life is going to change radically. So really take this one idea into consideration and I'm going to give you permission, one simple permission. And that's the permission to go out and be a little selfish and figure out what makes you happy. Be selfish. Go out and figure out what turns you on beyond women. What turns you on? Another way to put it is, what are all the things you've always wanted to do? And if you're not sure, pick, pick a few things. But what's something you've always wanted to do? What are the things? And I'm giving you permission to go explore it because it will help to make you better with women. It'll help to make you more confident. And it'll help to take your life to the next level. I'm actually contemplating, I, I do this sometimes, I just take off and go skiing for the weekend. I don't want anybody with me. I'll go skiing or snowboarding, I'll travel. I was thinking about flying to Montana this weekend to explore a new town that I think is beautiful that maybe someday I'll wanna live in, to spend a few days on the mountain, take pictures and, and do photography because I want to do it. Not because I need the photographs for Instagram or I need somebody to validate me or because I need a girl to like me and I wanna impress her, but because I wanna do it. Matter of fact, sometimes ski trips are better without women because sometimes you spend a lot of time teaching them to ski. And if you really want to cut loose and, and have fun on the mountain, either getting a buddy, a good buddy that's really good, that's at the same level as you, or just going up and ripping on your own. Because if you can't have fun with you, then something's missing. You should be one of your best friends is a better way to put it. So with that said, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I want you to list in the comments some of the stuff that you're going to go explore to really develop a greater sense of purpose or passions, another way to put it, passions in your life to, to help ground you into really loving your life. Put a couple comments in there and let us know what, what you're going to explore, what you do explore, what you do like to do. I'd love to hear that. And with that said, if you got some value out of this video, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.